nightmares. Possibly the most common dream experience, by far the most memorable. Often the first dream one remembers from their childhood. In this episode, we will be exploring the world of nightmares, as well as how to better understand them. This was a recurring dream. Pieces of this kept coming back during my childhood. It's like I was inside this gray thing that would explode if I would breathe. And I was to hold my breath so I would never so I wouldn't breathe. And I just remember and suddenly, you know, after I had the dream again and again that suddenly I would wake up but and it wouldn't explode because it didn't breathe. Honestly, the first dreams I remember having was nightmares like about swimming in my home. My whole family was swimming in the house. When we have dreams that are powerful like that, or very frightening, or very pleasant, or, or very seem to be important to us at the time, it's because the, subco our, the subconscious mind or soul of the individual, the dreamer, is attempting to give us a very important message to the waking conscious mind. Most of these people who have this dream again and again, they just feel like they're the victim of the dream. It doesn't occur to them that it may be a gift. This is showing you something. You are not the victim, but use the metaphor. And if there's something in a dream that I find unpleasant, there's something I can do in my waking state to change that so that that doesn't happen again and I can get more loose in my dreams, that I can, uh, my dreams can simplify and uh, be more reasonable as I grow and reasonable, and they kind of reflect my consciousness in the waking state. Let everyone just keep dreaming and not be afraid of them. Beverly grew up in New England, in the area of the witch trials. And my first dream, which is very vivid, was being pressed to death with a board, with big stones being piled atop it, which is a way that they had killed witches back in the 16th century. It happened during illness, probably was a recollection of the, of the history of the area, but that's the first dream I recall. In the next episode, meet another woman whose witch nightmares led her to become one of the greatest lucid dreamers of our time.